Well, Mikel Merino to Arsenal signing signals have gone ahead to be saint in the following mode altogether because things look like are really moving in thick and fast. Welcome to this channel. Smash the like button, comment and share. Comment and share if you're totally watching us for the very first time and never to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. And let's see close to um 300 likes much in this video as we wait in for you guys to continue subscribing because we want to hit 30,000 subscribers before the end of this month and in these two weeks let's see a very huge movement into the mix the muslims thank allah for the gift of life the christians we thank god for the gift of your life kadioglu is in the mix we're going to be talking about him if time allows we are also going to be having a huge talk about a player called um What's his name? Called Gretzka in there for you as he has been left out. You're powered by Mono Gadgets, dealers in phones, laptops that are really brand new. And if I told you want to use phones and laptops from UK, you can as well call them on plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five. That is Mono Gadgets for you, and that is the most important part of it all. And I tell you what, nothing is really gonna uh, be left untampered in this era of Rokani media football. So let's obviously start it off with the story that was really told us yesterday by by Mata Gonzalo who works for DMQ Rio Sociedad meaning that he is a really a correspondent for Rio Sociedad and is getting this um news from the source and looks like he's like, acting as a fly on the wall. We've gotten in a story that reads, everything points towards Merino not being called up for Rio Sociedad's opening game versus Rio this Sunday. Arsenal still 10 million euros short of valuation, but talks continue. And if all goes well smooth, a deal will be done before Rio Sociedad face Rio. So Sunday looks like it's one of those days that everyone is being looked at. And they're saying that, have you got a hit? Obviously, get him out of the squad of us over uh, Rio Sociedad as they played their last preseason game and Zubimendi was involved. It might obviously be the same case, not involve him into the game of Rio. They're gonna be playing on Sunday. And that is written over the world because there is no reason as to why you come in through and obviously getting a player like um <clears throat> You come in through and really get in a player like Mirino into a game. What if he gets injured and you lose out onto your money? And remember, he refused to obviously renew his contract. A new contract was given to him and he said no to it. That's what Arsenal, that's what your associate are really having as a problem. And I think there is no way they are going to risk him because you risk him, he gets an injury, he's out. That means you've gone ahead to give him to Arsenal on a free. <laughs> that is it. You've gone ahead to gift him to Arsenal on a free. So what Arsenal doesn't want to do, you know, what Arsenal doesn't want to do is simple to gift this player to the side of, sorry, what your social doesn't want to do to gift this player to Arsenal on a free. And all what they're doing is simple. They want to get in the best of the best in class and see the negotiations move on to the right direction and see everything will really move on into the right direction possible. So that's what uh, Rio Sociedad is really having at its plan prior to their game on Sunday. And that all shows you that those are signals of a player. <coughs> those are signals of a player going to leave the club and is willing to obviously join the club of Arsenal. So what other signal do you want? that? He's not expected to be in the squad of Rio Sociedad that is going to be taking part into the beautiful game of football that is going to be playing on Sunday. Um, the, <clears throat> the, the La Liga went ahead, obviously, open up yesterday, and um, teams went ahead to play yesterday. And Rio Sociedad is playing on Sunday, so we are waiting to see how things really pan out into the mix. And um, after that, story coming through from Rio Sociedad, then Fabrizio Romano had something to say about um, Mikel Merino today. He said, Arsenal and Rio Sociedad in contact again this weekend to get Mikel Merino deal done. Negotiations at final stages after Arsenal advanced more than two weeks ago. Fee almost agreed while working on deal structure and payment terms. All parties remain optimistic. And um, when you look at this story that is coming in from Sociedad that we first going to talk about and you add it on to 
this one of Fabrizio Romano, it really shows you that this weekend might be the might be the moment that very many Arsenal fans have been waiting for for Mikel Merino to sign for the club of Arsenal because when you look at Arsenal and uh, Rio Sociedad to make contact again this weekend, meaning that this weekend looks like it's going to be the last contact to obviously get everything done and dusted. And Fabrizio tells us that the negotiations are at final stages after Arsenal had advanced more than two weeks ago. The fee is almost agreed. So, these um, dragons, I think I've gone ahead obviously before in the solution for, and Arsenal want to put in the best shift together to see to it that they obviously get in a very good plan to get in Mikel Merino. With Arsenal starting off their season tomorrow, you know, as they play against a side called um, Wolverhampton Wanderers at uh, Emirates, Arsenal has found themselves in a position of really putting in a shift that is really well required for and uh, they want to obviously strengthen their midfield and uh, a lot is really going to be going into their favor for Michele Marino because if Michele Marino was having a two-year deal with Rio Sociedad he wouldn't have gone in for just um, like 25 to 30 million euros you understand he would have gone ahead to go in for more, but Arsenal getting him at that price is really something important to note. And uh, Fabrizio Romano is like the deal is in its final stages. And you saw to it that he retweeted. Uh, there is something retweeted and pinned onto his um, X account and that shows you that something huge is really coming on the way. So let's wait and see how the deal of Mikel Merino really transpires. But Arsenal are really pushing hard to get everything done and dusted this weekend. And let's wait and see whether here we go will come in through on Saturday as Arsenal obviously gets close to really playing part into the season of signing Mikel Merino at the club of Arsenal. So that is it for Mikel Merino. And let's obviously get into Fadi Kadioglu. Fadi Kadioglu was linked to Arsenal. Rumors were that. Arsenal had gone ahead obviously put a bid in, but all those rumors have gone to the mud because we have a story right now from Fabrizio Romano that was reported yesterday via David Austin. Understand Brighton advancing in talks to sign Fede Kadioglu as the player has agreed personal terms. Negotiations underway with Fanabachi to get deal done. Brighton also confident of getting a rata deal done after triggering 40 million pound close, as David Austin reported. So, personal terms have always have already gone here to be uh, approved or agreed, and the player is really going to the side of Arsenal and showing sorry the side of um, Brighton to show you how important this update is. No one talked about the 40 million pound release clause. Most of them were like, the side wants 35 million euros. You know, that's what is wanted. And now the guy even had a release clause of 40 million pounds, meaning that to take him, you have to release it. And Brighton is really working on it to obviously trigger it and get in the player. Then Fedi Kadioglu said, sorry, Fabrizio said, Fedi Kadioglu. Long-term deal at Brighton is ready and agreed in details. The players, the players, the player has confirmed to Fanabachi personal terms are in place with Brighton. With Brighton. He wants to play in the Premier League and the two clubs are in talks to agree on a transfer fee. So the player wants to play in the Premier League and the two and the two clubs are yet to agree on a transfer fee. So Fedi Kadioglu is one of those players that we all know that uh, is a right-footed player. He can play as a right-back, he can play as a left-back, and you saw him at the Euros playing as a left-back in most times. But he's, he's what we call a press-resistant player, and he is a man that really plays these modern, modern calls. So, 
He's one of those players that really plays as a modern right back and you will enjoy him or left back. And he puts in a very beautiful shift altogether. And no one is really gonna really not want him to be played at seam. To be to it to show you how great he is, teams like Ban Leverkusen had gonna hate obviously put in a very good effort to sign the player, you understand? And now he is really trying to move on away from um uh that side of Leverkusen and he's really going to go to Brighton but he has been, he, had, he was linked to Manchester United and very many other big teams meaning that he has a lot to do with this so guys thank you very much for watching through Rock and David is my name and don't forget to obviously subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily Rock and David is my name I call upon for your reactions into the comment section below about Mikel Merino signing for Arsenal signals you know have gone ahead obviously be shown and what do you make about um uh, what do you make about um freddy cardioglo signing for the side of brighton as personal terms i've gonna hit obviously be agreed into the mix so i call upon for your reactions you know i've gone hit to record this video when i'm watching the game of manchester united still zero zero but no goal is going to be scored, but he wait to see how United will obviously future into this game of football. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. Remember, we are powered by Mono Gadgets and they are dealers in brand new phones and brand new laptops. They also deal in used phones and used laptops. Call them on plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five, and then after the rest will be history. You can as well WhatsApp them and follow them on TikTok at Mono Gadgets and they will obviously offer you the best of service that you guys have been missing also continue to subscribe because we want to hit uh, 20,000 subscribers before the end of this month and we can really make it possible because we have seen this channel grow from zero subscribers to almost 19,000 subscribers that we do really have right about now guys five finger salute I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna be streaming live a little bit and thank you guys for doing the best of the best and we out Bye-bye.